Hello everyone! In this video, I'll share how to build a self-circulating generator easily. No advanced skills required, just a bit of creativity and you're good to go. Before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you'll be the first to see my newest inventions. To create a perpetual generator, I'll first use a broken fan motor as the main component. Next, I'll remove the outer casing of the motor. Be careful while doing this so you don't damage the inner parts because we'll reuse many of them to build our perpetual generator. Next, I'll remove the rotor shaft from the motor. Now only the outer casing and the stator coil inside are left. I use a small hammer to remove the stator coil from its casing. The next step, I use two large round magnets with a diameter of 100 millimeters. I use a wooden board as the base for my machine, and I'll attach one magnet onto it. To attach it firmly and securely, I'm using strong industrial glue. Next, I'll attach the stator coil on top of that magnet. I'll make use of a rotor shaft from a smaller fan motor. Next, I'll attach another rotor piece onto the rotor shaft to make it more stable and powerful. You need to use a hammer to firmly tap the two rotors together. Next, I use small magnets with a diameter of 20 millimeters to magnetize, excite, the stator coil. I will attach those small magnets to both ends of the rotor shaft. Note, make sure to attach the magnets so that their poles are positioned symmetrically. Next, I use two small 20mm bearings and two rectangular mica pieces, each with a 20mm circular hole drilled into it. Next, insert the two bearings into the circular holes on the two mica pieces. Next, I will insert the magnet shaft through the copper coil stator and fit it into the two small bearings. I use specialized adhesive to securely attach the two mica supports to the wooden base. Next I will attach a pulley with a diameter of 40 millimeters to the end of the shaft. I will use an additional small 12 volt motor to provide the driving force for the magnet shaft. We will make a base for the small motor using a PVC pipe. Then, I will use special adhesive glue to attach the PVC base firmly to the motor body. And next, I will securely attach the motor base onto the wooden platform using special adhesive glue. Now, I will use electrical wire to extend the output ends of the copper coil, making it easier to connect later. Thank you. 
Use electrical tape to wrap the connection tightly, providing insulation and ensuring a secure and safe joint. Next, we'll connect the two wire ends to the terminals of the small motor. We'll need to use a power inverter circuit to step up the voltage from 12 volts to 220 volts. I will connect the remaining output of the copper coil to the circuit board. I will use an additional power socket so I can plug in and use electrical devices. I will connect this power socket to the output of the circuit board. Use screws to securely fasten the circuit board onto the wooden base. We will need a large round magnet with a diameter of 100 millimeters to generate a magnetic field that activates the small motor shaft to spin. We will use an additional belt so the motor can drive the magnet shaft. The small motor has started spinning and it's driving the magnet shaft to rotate as well. It seems the copper coil has generated electricity. After finishing my self-sustaining generator, I will take it for a test run. Next, I will use a fan. The fan runs very powerfully and steadily. I tried removing the magnet from the machine and the power immediately shut off. But when I placed it back into the copper coil, the motor immediately started spinning again.
Let's take a look back at what we've accomplished in creating this amazing machine. So we've completed our perpetual generator, an idea that once seemed impossible, but it's truly inspiring to see it come to life. Although this is just a small experimental model, it proves the power of imagination, passion, and the spirit of endless exploration. If you enjoy creative projects like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let's keep building and discovering amazing ideas together. See you in the next video.